At its core, working with materials and shaders has remained consistent with the classic 3D system. For those looking to attach a texture such as a checkerboard to a piece of geometry, then there are two main workflows. The first being with a Nuke Geometry node like GeoCard, where you take the hidden image input on the right and connect this to any texture you want. The reason the image input has moved to the right as a hidden input rather than sitting at the top of the node like before is because we now allow geometry nodes to connect together without the need of a geoscene or a geomerge node. So the top pipe can be used for connecting to other geometry nodes and this allows for easier stacking of nodes. The second workflow is for geometry that you may have imported or referenced using the geo import or geo reference node. As these nodes don't have an image input, you can use the new GeoBind Material node, which is the new 3D system alternative to apply material. With this node, I can import this model and connect any texture I want. You can also utilize the material knob on the node to bind this to the path of material in your stage if you prefer. Nodes that have been converted to the new system and that you may be familiar with are the transform and wireframe shaders, the blend mat and merge layer nodes, or the basic surface node. However, we are also introducing a new node called Preview Surface. This is a beta node and is the first step into Nuke fully supporting USD material networks. With this node, you can recreate a lot of the workflows you used to with the classic nodes, but working in a USD-based specular or metallic workflow. The node pipe design is a key element we are looking to update, as currently you have to connect, disconnect and reconnect to find the pipe you want for different texture passes. But with this node, you can create more dynamic materials inside of Nuke. Please note that a number of the pre-existing shader nodes have not yet been converted to the new system and will be introduced as we continue to develop the new 3D system across the 14 series. Another thing you may notice is that when importing a USD file, if it has any material or shader data with it, this will display in the scene graph and can be immediately applied to the geometry you're importing. Take for example these toy assets. We can import them into Nuke and immediately see what they look like with certain material looks included in the USD file without having to set this up ourselves. However, as importing and displaying this texture data in the 3D viewer can be more computationally expensive and not something a Nuke artist will always need, we have opted to include this material checkbox feature. With this, you can decide if you want textures or materials contained within a USD to be rendered through the 3D viewport renderer and in doing so reduce the import and viewer traversal costs if you just want to work with the geometry data.